Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDieFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagoner and I'm excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy it. Today's um, technique how-to is the gatefold latch card. Um, it makes this really neat little latch that also opens up like this. Um, and this is called a gate card and then of course this is our latch. Now you can use any framelit shape that you want. Today I've used the oval collections and so the ovals collections come in you know little ovals that go smaller smaller smaller. The only scallop one is the large one and so for the first one I took that in the next oval like this and that is what we cut out our early espresso frame with. Then I took the next oval and, oh, excuse me, I took the non-scalloped one, which is the largest non-scalloped one, and I cut this out, and then I also ran it through the lattice embossing folder to give it some texture. Then I used the third um, framelit, which is the second largest without a scallop, and I cut this out on our watercolor paper, and I watercolored, I used the um, Wetland stamp set, which is so great this time of year. We have geese flying from the cornfield to the lake right now, uh, feeding in the fall, and it's always a special time of year. So I decided to stamp this greeting, birthday greeting with this card with the wetlands. Now, I did watercolor this, and if you stop by next week, I will show you some really cool water techniques. But for today, we're just going to be showing you the latch card. You're going to start with um, an 8, uh, excuse me, a 4 and a quarter by 11 each piece of cardstock, and you want to score it 2 and 3 quarters from each edge. So that's going to give you this gate. Now, I embossed it with um, our tree trunk, wood grain I guess it's called. Boy, had a moment there but I have lots of those moments. And this card is really quite simple even though it looks like it's complicated. I've taken um, and put some dimensionals around the edge here and so if you'll bear with me while I peel all of these off. I don't normally use this many but for this frame it's kind of delicate. You can make a little thicker frame but for the look that I wanted I I didn't do that. And you're going to just set this frame on the top half of your card. So it's like that. And then you're going to close it up. We're going to take some snail adhesive and we're going to, again I don't normally use this much snail, but with watercolor and a lattice, um, it might have even been better to use some of our Tombow glue, but I'm such a snail girl. So I'm going to peel off the bottom of this. <clears throat> I'm going to stick it right inside this frame. And again, I've only adhered the bottom edge of the card. And there we have our gate. See how simple that was and what a neat, whew, can you hear the thunder? We're in the middle of a thunderstorm today. Um, it creates this really neat gate, which looks like you fussed, but you didn't. I hope you enjoyed today. Be sure and go over to my website, www.stampstodiefor.com, and print out your free little tutorial page to remind you how to make this card, and I